we are looking at this document that we'll be filling out for this Newton's Third Law of Motion investigation. And so we're going to be putting a picture here inside this document. And you can insert, you can go right to the document and you can insert, um, you can insert a drawing right in there. And boy, I am getting some pretty nasty lag here as well. So hopefully this will work. But what I'm going to demonstrate for you is that instead of drawing right in the document, I'm going to show you how to use this program called Sketchpad. And so um, we'll click on the link Sketchpad here. And when you um, click on that link, it'll take you to the Sketchpad website. And then it will start loading in. And then you'll be looking at basically a blank, you know, screen. Um, you've got, you've got this um, drawing surface out here that you can draw on. And um, you have, you have all of these different tools that you can use. I mean, there's just, just a ton of tools and it would, it would literally take me hours to demonstrate and teach you how to use all of these tools. Some of these tools, I really haven't even, you know, played with that much. But the most important thing is that you can find, you know, the pencil tool or the pen tool or the paintbrush um, or a crayon, something that you can draw with, all right? And um, you, you also then can... Um, choose a variety of tools up here. You can choose the shape tools. Now the shape tools are going to come in handy because for this particular device, the Newton's Cradle, um, you are going to be drawing some spheres, some circles, some stainless steel ball bearings. And so um, you also have a text tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag that text tool out here. And I'm going to click. And when you click, it'll just say start typing something. So I'm going to put Newton's Cradle Observations. Now, um, if, if the words go on different lines and you want them to be on the same line, you can stretch this out. And um, I think we can, I think, I don't, I think it's going to want to, Stay. There we go. Now we got it all in one. Now, if if the text, so there's no way to resize the text um, by choosing a number. So what you have to do is you just have to click on the text. Oops, get rid of that. Um, we'll come back over here to our um, arrow tool, and let me first of all let me delete this. Thing. I just click off of it, it'll go away, yeah. And you click on the arrow tool, and then you can click on the text that you've created, and then you have the option to resize it. And so that's how you resize the text. And you can still get inside by double-clicking in here. You can get inside the text box and, and edit it. Like let's say you wanted to put this on two lines again. You just hit return, and then um, you can get in here and move the text around. And if you want it, you know, bigger or smaller, just grab one of the corners and you can resize the text. So it's a really handy text tool. And you'll be using that to put in notes and things. But back to the shapes, um, you can choose a bunch of different shapes here. And I think probably for this um, experiment, you'll want to choose the circle. And then um, you'll come out here. And you can just click and put the circles in. Now, how do you change the size of the circle? Well, you will come over here and 
I think this is going to be, yeah, this will be the side. Oh, that's the cutout in the middle. So let's see. You're probably seeing the size outline. Um, let's try. Oh, yeah. So just click and drag. I think this is um, when you just click, it makes that size. But if you click and drag, it'll make bigger. Or you can actually go smaller. So I'm going to undo those three. All right, so I have my five um, stainless steel ball bearings out, but I want to move them into the right place. So I'm going to actually click back on the arrow tool, and um, I'm going to just line them up. Now, the cool thing about this program is that as you're moving things around, it'll show you when they're lined up, which is, which is pretty handy because then you can get things set, and they'll kind of snap into that position. So it would be hard to line uh, these things up um, exactly like that unless you had kind of that snapping so um, it's going to be helpful to get those um, now you can just use um, let's see i think i'll choose the line tool you can just use um, representations you don't have to draw the newton's cradle exactly as you saw it but um, you know we can just draw some lines here. Oops, let's just double click that. And then we'll put another one here. And I don't like that particular line tool. So I know what I'll do. I think what I need to do is undo. So this particular line tool, um, get out of here. I, I don't use this drawing program enough to be super good at it. But if you click and then move the point to where you want it and then click again, then um, that will work. And I think if you double click, it'll finish the line. There we go. So now I got it. So click and then we'll click again and then double click to finish the line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just... Um, demonstrate um, kind of the first action that you're going to see. And so um, I'm going to actually move one of these up, and then I'm going to go back to the line tool. And this time the line is going to be, you know, showing that the object has been raised. And then... Um, We'll, we'll draw an arrow, so there's an arrow tool there, and um, I'll just start the arrow here and point it like that. And then I'm going to go over here to this side, and I'm going to click the arrow and draw it like that. And um, so basically then you will be able to illustrate. Now, I could add some notes in here. I would love it if you would add a note, maybe um, saying if you pull back one um, one ball bearing, then only one will move on the other side. Okay. All right. So this is my picture. Now this picture is what I want to import into um, in my document. And so what I'll do is I'm going to go, um, you'll see some tools along the side here, and you can see that you can export, and that's a good one. Now um, exporting um, will simply download this picture file. So I'm going to click on export, and I'm just going to save it as um, just as a JPEG, which is fine. I'm going to save it, and it's going to save it into my downloads folder. Now, I'm going to open this up. This looks different on a Chromebook, but I'm going to open this up just to show you the folder. Um, so this is my downloads folder. You have a downloads folder on your Chromebook. And that's where this file will go. Now, 
Um, I'm going to actually just get in here and rename it. Um, I'm going to call it um, sketch one. That way, when I go to find it later um, and I need it for my document, I'll be able to find it easier. So you're going to go here to export, and then you're going to export this as a JPEG. And then you're going to go back to your document. And let's see if I can find that document. I think it's right here. And here we go. All right, so we're back to our document. We've watched part of the video. Um, we've, we've observed um, demonstration one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, show you pieces of the video, and then you're going to be able to watch the rest. So I've got my cursor right inside here in this area. And um, now I'm going to go up here to insert. So instead of drawing an image, I could draw, I could insert a drawing in there and I could go to Google and draw and, and maybe you find that easier, but I just really like the Sketchpad tools. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert image and I'm going to upload it from the computer. And then you'll want to find your downloads folder. So mine, the last time I, I uploaded something, it came from downloads, so it opened it here. But you'll just look for your downloads folder and then you'll go and click on that sketch that you just downloaded and then you'll click open and then there you go it'll put the sketch right in that spot now um, because um, Google rep um, recognizes this as a drawing but it also may see some extra area. If I double click on that picture, I can click on this little black bar. Do you see the little black bar right there? I can click on that and I can crop the picture so that uh, the whole thing doesn't show. So then when I click off, uh, let's see, did it do it? Yeah. All right, I'll hit return, and then it'll make the picture actually a little smaller. Um, and then I think there might be some, some extra spaces here, so I'm going to take those out. And then that way my table doesn't get... And you can resize these pictures. As it'll, it'll bring it in as big as it possibly can, but you don't necessarily need to um, have your picture... Um, be any bigger than it needs to be. All right. So there is an observation drawn using the Sketchpad tool. And then once you've got that drawing saved in your document, um, then you can go ahead and go back to Sketchpad and you can create a new drawing. And so how do you do that? Well, when you come here, the little um, plus button right down here will essentially give you the option of what kind of paper or what kind of background you want to draw on. Maybe you want to use a grid um, or graph paper or maybe you want line or something like that. I'll choose a grid this time and maybe that might make it easier for you and then I'll create. And here I am back with a blank screen and um, ready to draw again. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, save this. And that's how you draw using Sketchpad.